Hello everyone, Chocolate Bird here, but not for a video review, this time it's for episode 2 of Look Back. <laughs> yes, for those of you who missed uh, the last episode, well basically it's where I look back at uh, chocolates or things I reviewed a year ago and five years ago, roughly around this time, you know, give or take a week or two or something like that. Um, yeah, because basically I've had my channel for five years now, can you believe it? So I've actually had, got that many years worth of reviews now. <laughs> So yeah, so I thought this would be an interesting way of looking back at um, basically chocolates, see whether I still feel the same about them, um, or whether actually they're still around even, you know, maybe some have just been discontinued, and that could even be the case from a year ago, who knows, so yeah, just to see what was going on a year ago and five years ago, um, yeah, I thought it was quite an interesting one to do, really. Yeah, so I've got a link to all the reviews in the description of this video as well, so if you fancy watching them after you've seen this, um, yeah, they'll all be there for you. <laughs> I'd say some of them, well, basically ones from five years ago might not have aged too well, <laughs> when I first started reviewing the channel, my, you know, the thing, the equipment I used and stuff wasn't that great and this that, and the other and um yeah well interesting to watch either way so yeah let me know what you think in the comments if you do watch them and uh, yeah whether they still hold up <laughs> But yeah, so there we go. Right, well, first of all, I've got to start with one I missed, actually, from last week. It was a dairy milk from five years ago I reviewed, and uh, long story short is I um, I gave it a four out of five, but I was saying I didn't do half marks at the time. Um, I don't think that lasted too long, but uh, at the time, the first five or ten reviews or something, I didn't do uh, half marks, maybe 20. Um, yeah, but basically I said I would have probably given it a four and a half out of five if I could. But I think a four is about right, I think. Um, I think it's about right. I think... I mean, I still agree, I probably am close to giving it a four and a half out of five. Um, but it is, I think, just a four, because it's still really nice. I really like it. It's sort of smooth, velvety, beautiful, lovely chocolate. It smells great as well. And it has something, a real real sort of feel about it. But uh, at the end of the day, I feel like it's still probably, you know, it's, it's not really got a massive X factor there. And I think it's still just plain chocolate. Well, not plain chocolate, but milk chocolate with nothing else with it, really. As nice as it is, it's still just milk chocolate. And um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... This, it is nice, but I feel like a whole block of it as well is just a bit too much sometimes. You know, it's nice for a little you know, square or two of it. It uh, usually comes in squares. Um, but yeah, I just think as a whole overall experience, I think a four out of five is about right for that. So yeah, yeah, four out of five. So I agree with that one still. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go back to things from one year ago. So we'll do one year's first, and then we'll go back to five years. So, um, yeah, so we'll do it that way around. Um, yeah, so I'll just grab up my list. Where's it gone of my scores? Here we go. Yeah. Right, so, right, so. Well, first of all, yes, we did, um, yeah, Cadbury's Orange Bourneville as well, the first one that I did from um, about a year ago. Um, yeah, I gave it a four and a half out of five, basically. Um, yeah, I mean, it sounds quite a high mark, that one, really. Um, you know, uh, it's, it, it was, it basically what it was, was it was just, Cadbury's Bourneville chocolate, you know, dark chocolate, basically. Not a very strong dark chocolate, but had um, sort of orange, I guess it's like little candy pieces in it. A bit similar to the um, Terry's chocolate orange with cranberry that they did. Um, had little sort of sugary cranberry pieces. It wasn't really cranberry, just cranberry flavoured sugar pieces. And it was nice, actually, a bit different. I quite liked it. I quite liked the the way it was, wasn't just flavoured orange, you know, it was actually had little pieces in it. So, I don't know, really. I'm not sure. I feel like, um, I feel like four and a half is quite a high mark. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think, but you know, there's something about having a dark chocolate. And orange is a nice combination. I think I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I feel like um, I feel like if I had it in hand, you know, I, yeah, for me to have given it, it's only a year ago as well. So I think I'm going to give myself the benefit of the doubt. I feel like it might be, should be possibly a four, but um, I don't know. I think it's one of those where, you know, I, I'll give myself the benefit of the doubt because I can't quite recall. And I think it's one of those, if you had it in hand, I think uh, just having those different textures and things like that would be pretty nice. So, um, yeah. So I'll give myself the benefit of the doubt and keep it the same at the four and a half out of five. But yeah, I just feel like, well, maybe it should be, I don't know. It, it feels more like it's possibly a four, but as I say, with that dark chocolate and that uh, orange pieces inside, the fact that it's a bit, a bit more to it than just normal orange flavoured chocolate and things, I, I, I think I can give myself the benefit of the doubt on that one. So, yeah. So I'll keep it the same, four and a half out of five. <laughs> Yeah, no else do we have. We had the Terry's chocolate orange. Speaking of orange, a few orange ones this this, uh, this time last year, actually. Um, yeah, Terry's chocolate. I gave this a four out of five, so even less, actually. And uh, I think that's probably about right as well, you know. Um, it is really nice. So I'm going to keep that the same. It is really nice, the Terry's chocolate. It's gorgeous, but it is just sort of plain chocolate at the end of the day. Um, you know, well, I say plain. It's, it's milk chocolate, but uh, so I don't mean plain dark chocolate. But it's just nothing else in it other than the orange flavour. And I feel, while that's nice, I feel it's kind of a bit similar to the... Dairy milk argument I just gave actually, where it's it's really nice, but it's not got that sort of knock your socks off kind of uh, taste to it really. You know, there's nothing more about it, and it is really nice. Um, but I just yeah, I don't, I really do like it. Um, I just feel like it's probably not really something that can you know it just it, I don't know, after a segment or two you've kind of had it and you're not you know it's that's it really. Um, but it's still nice. It's really nice. Um, you know, yeah, it's it is a really nice chocolate orange flavour and everything like that. It's really nice. I feel the white chocolate orange is um 
and Terry's Do is probably the one that's more four and a half, five out of five, I think. I can't quite recall what I gave that now, but um, hmm. But that's definitely cut above it, so I have to leave room for that. So yeah, so I think a four out of five, yeah, I'm gonna leave it the same with that, I think. Could be a bit harsh, it's probably close to four and a half, but I think I think four is still about right. Um, now I had one that Scotty sent me, so thank you so much, Scotty. Mackie's of Scotland, Dairy Milk Chocolate. Now I mentioned this one, for me, I don't know if Scotty agreed with it, I don't think he did really, but I felt, felt it was very similar to Galaxy Chocolate. Um, yeah, and I did, uh, I did really, and I like Galaxy Chocolates a lot, actually, so for me it worked, worked really well. Um, but again, a similar one, it's just a plain sort of milk chocolate, you know, um, so I gave this one a four out of five. I mean, it, I don't know, not on another day. Some chocolates I do really like. Phaser's milk chocolate, for instance, is very nice. And uh, But I do like Cadbury's dark chocolate, um, you know, dairy milk chocolate, and Smacky's one, Galaxy chocolate, you know, so... I don't know, maybe I had a few sort of just regular bars of chocolate, and maybe that sort of swayed it. But I think four is probably about right. I could perhaps extend to four and a half for some of these, but I think I can see why I would have given them four, and I think, um, yeah... I think four's about it. It was a nice one. It was really nice. And um, remember, four's above average as well. Don't forget. Um, really nice chocolate. So, yeah. yeah. But um, maybe ones with something in it. There are some that you do with um, other things inside as well. Um, Mackies of Scotland. So, yeah. Mm. Do a few different things. Crisps as well. They're really good at crisps, actually. Um, although Scotty wasn't too keen on those. But I do like them. <laughs> yes, thanks, Scotty. Fat. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I didn't get around to a couple of the other. I still have them to review, really. But they've probably just been too long now, as you've seen. Yeah. So, what a shame. But, um just have so much chocolates, it's hard to get through them all, unfortunately. But yeah, thank you so much for sending me that. That was great. <laughs> right, yeah, so what else do we have? Yeah, so, um, ah, Phaser's milk chocolate with red berries. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I, well, speaking of, I mentioned Phaser before, I love their milk chocolate. It's so nice. It's, um, it just really works. It's not like dairy milk where it's sort of quite a massive, distinct flavour. Um, it's just kind of quite, uh, it just really, it's just a solid, nice, lovely milk chocolate. And I really do like it, actually. It really hits the spot. And the red berries have sort of freeze-dried, um, I think it's raspberries and possibly cranberries, may, maybe strawberries, but I think it's just raspberries and cranberries, I think. Um, and I think there's rice crisp pieces in there as well. So it's a really nice, and the freeze-dried in there, those, um, those fruit pieces as well. Really, just really nice. It was a lovely bar, actually. And I gave this one a five out of five. Um... Yeah, phasers, I really have a, a you know, a, yeah, I have a place in my heart for phaser bars. They're so nice. They're so, such lovely chocolate. Um, so, you know, if, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that. I think 5 out of 5, just really nice. I mean, I could be swayed to go pull it back a bit, if anything, because I just feel like, um, you know, I know it's very hard, yes, it's very hard, but when I have a phaser chocolate bar, yeah, I do get, you know, transported to another place, and it's a wonderful place to be. You know, so 5 out of 5, I think I'll definitely stay with that, yeah. So what else do we have as well? Cabbage white chocolate roundies. Yeah, so these ones, remember, I don't know if you remember these. They're still around, but um, they seem to have just, I don't know, you don't, you just don't have them much anymore. You know, a bit like sort of blue ribbons, but in this sort of bigger, sort of spherical, quite thick, um, wafery, um, let's say sort of wheel-shaped uh, shenanigan roundie, I guess. Um, and it's kind of wafer with possible sort of I think, milk chocolate or milk chocolate cream separating the wafers. And covered in white chocolate in this case. And I gave this a four and a half out of five. And um, I just feel like these were really nice, actually. It did work very well. Um, I think the chocolate worked really well with it. Just all in a lovely wafer and stuff like that. I love all the combinations. It had more to it, you see. It's not just a plain chocolate this time. Like the sort of like the Mackies and the dairy milk and things. Um, just had sort of wafer. And it was just, I, I like wafer and chocolate. I really do. And uh, yeah, I think it worked really well. I gave it a four and a half out of five. Um, I remember being very impressed with it, and then yeah, I think you know, hmm. some of these I say you think back, well, was it really that high? You know, and all these ones I'm thinking, you know, do I do I really think they're that high? But of course, when you taste them, they're so nice and lovely. So I can understand what I'm thinking about here. So yeah, well, that's fine. I'm going to stick with that as well. So yeah, I say they were only a year ago, so it's not likely that would change my mind too much in this time. But there we go. And Terry's dark chocolate orange as well. Um, it's a similar affair, basically. Um, it's a bit like a mix between the Cabbage Orange Bourneville and Terry's chocolate orange, I guess you'd say, but without the sort of pieces in um, that the Cabbage Orange Bourneville had. I like this one. Um, it's, it's a nice one. It's nice. I just forgive it's a four out of five, though, I think. I think it just sort of... I don't know. Um, I think it's still nice, and I could easily... I gave the Terry's chocolate orange a four as well. So, you know, I think both of these are very nice, and I could possibly be tempted to bump them up to four and a half. Um, but I think just having had all the other Terry's products out there, which are four and a half to fives, the, you know, the cranberry ones, the biscuit ones, um, they're just a bit more cut above, really, these ones. I think it's just, I think, you know, with that in mind, I think it's not, yeah, and obviously the white chocolate ones as well, also amazing. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I have to turn these ones back and stick with a four out of five. I think that's about right. They're still really nice. I'll say four out of five, three out of five chocolate is average chocolate, and the average chocolate tastes nice. So a four out of five is a very good score. So, yeah, yeah. Mm, no, yeah, I think I'm sticking with that. I'll say there's just room for better 
Terry's um, orange products, basically, you know. And there's quite a few of them now, actually, that are really nice. So I think better than just the average ones. So, yeah, so four out of five, I think it's about right. <laughs> So that was all I did from a year ago. So yeah, five years ago. Um, yeah. So where are we now? Um, yeah. So a few, a few more phases and stuff like that here. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I had phases strawberry and vanilla and milk chocolates. This was one of the first. Um, yeah, basically, um, phaser bars I had around this time and not had them before. And I was, I was quite excited actually because I thought, you know, I'm reviewing something very different from my channel. And of course, when my channel first started, people couldn't really find it because most people were just searching for things they know, like Kit Kats and penguins and hobnobs and stuff like that so people you know unless you're from finland probably wouldn't be searching for sweden wouldn't be searching for phases and things most people in the uk were the ones viewing my channel so they didn't really take off these videos i think they did subsequently to an extent but um yeah so there we go but uh, so i was trying to do something a bit different but you know i say people weren't really searching for it but then as i got more subscribers things like that these are like things like this work out so yeah um it's strawberry vanilla so we just did the red berry one so this obviously has strawberry and vanilla i gave this a four out of five um you know what? It has been such a long time since I reviewed it, but I reckon I reckon I'd give this. A, I think at the time, I was I didn't give half marks. I say so. I mean, should it be a four and a half? Should I even? Get, I'm even saying in my video, should I give all these a five out of five? You know, what? and I know I love Phaser's chocolate. Um, so I am going to bump this one up to five out of five. Phaser's chocolate for me can rarely do wrong unless it's sort of Turkish pepper ones or whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to bump this one up. I'm quite sure this would be a five out of five now. I love Phaser's chocolate. So I think at the time I was a bit. Um, I don't know. I was I was only nine when myself should I give it a five out of five and things and uh, and I think I should have done so yeah it's definitely going up there five out of five that one I also did phases liquids dragees I think uh, in milk chocolates um, basically um, these ones sort of like phases bar again it's got sort of licorice pieces covered in um, a sugar shell or something along those lines basically um, not like very strong licorice just a nice a nice way of doing it and again this one this was another one I think it's either in this one I think I was saying retrospectively should I have given you one a five and this one a five I gave this one a four and again I'm going to bump it up to a five I just think phaser are just so nice um you know I know it's licorice and I'm not a big fan of licorice generally but these licorice dra dragees are actually very nice and um work very well in these chocolates better than you'd think so yeah five out of five for that one as well so definitely bump those up I love phasers can't go wrong with it <laughs> Now we had a Twix as well, and um, yeah, notice Andrew Winton commented on this one. This was to say, I think you've looked at it two years ago, but it was an older video, so he went back and looked at most of my reviews actually. <laughs> so he commented on loads of them at the time. So thanks, to Andrew. It's really great uh, that you did that. I hope you like them. Um, so Twix, I give a three out of five. Um, I think this might be a bit harsh. You know, Twix is, you know, you could argue it's an average bar, but I think a three out of five. I think it's nicer than that. I mean, it's not amazing. Um, but I think, again, this one, I think I was at the time I was thinking, yeah, this is a pretty average chocolate bar. But I've since had, you know, a lot of chocolate. I don't know. I think Twix is slightly above average, really. So it might be. I don't think it's quite a four. It might be slightly. But I think I'm going to go in the middle and say three and a half out of five. I think this one is is better than a three. It is quite average as such. But I think there's something about Twix, all the different textures and tastes. I quite I quite like it, really. So even though it's not, it doesn't blow your socks off, I think it's, I don't think it's too bad. Um, you know. I don't think I was particularly wrong with saying it's a three out of five. Um, I just think there's something about a Twix that I don't mind. You know what I mean? There's something I, that I quite like about it. So yeah, yeah. So three and a half out of five. I think I'll bump that one up. So this one we had, um, this was just similar to one we reviewed the um, Lidl one at the weekend, actually. Um, Cabbage Day Milk Big Taste Toffee Whole Nuts. We did the little equivalent to this one. Now I gave this a three out of five. And I think I gave the little one a three out of five as well. And I think, I think it's pretty much about right. I think this one's probably... Uh, no, it's been a long time since I've had it, but I think it's probably slightly better than the other one. But the much of a muchness, really. Um, I think the toffee cream in this one, I don't know. And let's say the little one. It's, it's one of those where that could be the make or breaker, really, for it. But I think a three out of five is about right, this one. It's not a great. I'm not a big fan of hazelnuts. And it was just a bit too... Just a bit too sickly. It wasn't. It didn't work for me. It didn't really feel like a cabbage product. And I don't think it particularly is um, more milk or one, really. Um you know, it's a milk rebrand essentially. You do do it in milk, and I say you can if you go to Lidl and Aldi and all these other places, they, they tend to well, at least those two anyway. They tend to do their own versions of this. So yeah, hmm. but yeah, I think three out of five was was fine. If you love the uh, whole hazelnuts, it might be a bit better for you. Um, I say I, you know, I don't really like them, so really I'm kind of giving it the benefit of the doubt, knowing that people who like whole hazelnuts will prefer will obviously you know catering for that taste basically rather than just my own to be objective about it but um yeah so i think for me it would normally be a bit less than a, t a three but more like a two um but i understand that there are people out there like uh all hazelnuts and stuff like that but yeah so that's the only reason really but yeah basically like a sort of you know chocolate um 
Yeah, was it like a chart? It's faced lots of massive, because the Big Taste range are massive bars. Um, and it basically had sort of um, hazelnuts in a caramel cup, essentially, and then like a toffee cream in it. Yeah, and it just, I don't know, it was just not, not a caramel cream. It just wasn't, I don't know. It just didn't really work for me. Those cream bits are just too, too sickly for me. So, yeah, yeah, not too great, really. Um, yeah, so, uh, well, I also reviewed uh, Kit Kat, the regular Kit Kat. Yes, and I actually used these as a straw then as well, about five years ago. Um, yeah, so I nibbled up both ends of us using it as a straw. It's a bit of a, <laughs> a, bit of a slurpy video, to be honest with you. But it worked surprisingly well, I seem to remember, and I was saying in the video as well. And you can do it with Kit Kat chunkies, which I highly recommend, because they're even bigger and work, work even better. Um, I gave Kit Kats a four. Um, so Kit Kats, yeah, I'm sure you all know, it's those sort of fingers, you know, usually two or four fingers of them, um, chocolate-covered wafer, essentially, the wafer's got... Um, sort of cocoa cream mixed um, between them, um, between the, wa uh, the wafer layers. I think a four is probably about right. I think I've Kit Kat Chunkies where it's at for me. I like Kit Kats, but I think um, regular Kit Kats are still nice, but I think a uh, regular Kit Kat Chunky is definitely the way to go, and that's a higher mark for sure. Um, yeah, so you know, four out of five, I think it's about right for that. I think, I think I got that one about right. And then phase of salty toffee crunch and milk chocolate. <laughs> I actually did. This was the first one I think I gave um, a, sort of a half mark to, I think. Um, I gave it four and a half out of five. Um, well, since the ones I gave four on this one, I did stretch to four and a half out of five. I'm going to bump it up to five for sure. I just, um, yeah, I just love phase of chocolate. What can I say? I just have to, have, you know, I just know. I mean, I must, I must admit, I can't quite remember this one too well. But the fact that I gave it to half a mark more than the others, and the others I definitely was saying should be a five out of five. I just love Faze's chocolate, you know, there's not many that they do wrong, really, so, yeah. I probably shouldn't just bump them all up to five, um, but, you know, um, yeah, you know, I just, yeah, I was saying at the time they should all be fives, basically, and I was just wasn't, I was umming and ahhing about it, but I think that's probably about right. Maybe when I come to revisit them at some point, you know, re-review them or something like that, but they are just so nice, and they're, they're just a big, lovely bar, and they've got so much different fillings and all sorts, and they're just such nice bars, generally. Um, so they've done a couple that weren't quite as great, but... Um, yeah, hmm. But yeah, I'm give, definitely giving the benefit of the doubt with this one. Five out of five, yeah, for sure. I also did a uh, Galaxy Salted Caramel, yes. So this one, like, someone just, one of my friends was saying it was a new bar, or so, well, they knew someone who was claiming it was new. <laughs> but it's been out for five years, so it's not new at all. I don't think we brought it back out again or whatever, but yeah. And this one I gave a four out of five. Um, I feel like this one probably should be higher than that. Um, you know, because Galaxy chocolate's so nice. Um, it's lovely creamy, lovely chocolate. It's the one that really works as being the creamy chocolate for me. I mean, generally, like Belgian chocolates and things, lint and stuff like that, a bit too, um, a bit too sort of sickly for me, Ritter Sports, you know, but Galaxy really works. Um, yeah, so I think I will, but in the sort of, like, sort of camera, it's a bit of a boring taste now, but at the time it was brand new, and I still don't mind it as far as, I think, Twix and um, Galaxy are concerned. Um, yeah, so I'm going to bump this one up to four and a half out of five. Uh, as I say, I might re-review it soon, actually. So we'll see what I do then. But from memory, four and a half out of five, I think, for sure. And then I had one of my all-time favourite chocolate bars. Yes, and um, yeah, so you know this one, what this one's going to be. I gave it a five out of five at the time. I think it's the first time I... Was it the first time I had it? I'm not sure. Um, basically, I'm not a big fan of peanut butter generally, but this one won me over, and I think Reese's as well since then. I don't know before or after, but, um, but this one for sure. The Kit Kat Chunky Peanut Butter, yeah. One of my favourite, all-time favourite chocolate bars. Uh, 5 out of 5 for sure, 6 out of 5 if anything, it's never going to be a 4 out of 5, gorgeous bar, lovely Kit Kat chunky, sort of massive finger of Kit Kat with all the wafer inside, but with a layer of peanut butter which is so nice, I'm not a big fan of peanut butter generally, you know, um, but these ones you get in some of these chocolate bars are so good, I'm not a big fan of peanuts either really, believe it or not, but as I say, really got uh, room for these peanut butters in some of these chocolates, yeah, so this one's very nice, 5 out of 5 for sure, I recommend you get it straight away, and so even if you're not a fan of peanuts, obviously if you have peanuts you don't get it, but uh, if you're not a fan of peanuts, I still recommend trying it, because I say I'm not a fan of peanuts, and I'm not a fan of peanut butter, but um, I think obviously this, this peanut butter, or whatever it is, really works for me, and the Kit Kat chunk is gorgeous, lovely, crunchy, thick wafer, lovely thick chocolate around, so the chocolate's not that great on its own actually, but it just works as a whole package, it's, it's gorgeous, Five out of five for sure. Yeah, really nice, really nice. <laughs> well, there we go. Yeah, there we are. So that's uh, what I reviewed uh, one year and five years ago. So hope you enjoyed that. I'll say links will be in the description for all these reviews. Um, yeah. So hope you enjoy those. Go give them a watch. Um, some of them probably, you'll see the old ones might be a bit dated now, but uh, <laughs> I've interested in nothing else. <laughs> Oh, thanks so much, guys. Well, take care. Have a great day. Yes, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out the YouTube member program. Check out the uh, Discord server as well. Links for all these things in the description. Um, yeah, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Leave a comment for free. As I say, always great to hear from you. <laughs> take care. Bye for now. See ya.
Bye.